everyone hope you are doing very well today is our topic is circuit breaker so without any delay let's begin in this video we will discuss the various type of circuit breaker definition the types of circuit breaker the class classification of the circuit breaker the operation and their uses If we go for the definition of the circuit breaker, then it says an electrical circuit breaker is a switching device that can be operated automatically or manually for protecting and controlling the electrical power system. Before we start the various type of circuit breaker, let's have a look the classification of the circuit breaker. In our circuit breaker, there are two types. The one is AC circuit breaker. Another is DC circuit breaker. The DC circuit breaker have two types. That is high voltage circuit breaker. Another is low voltage circuit breaker. And the DC circuit breaker only one type. That is HVDC circuit breaker. The HVDC circuit breaker means high voltage DC current circuit breaker. The high voltage circuit breakers in AC system have two types. That is oil circuit breaker and oil less circuit breaker. The oil circuit breaker have two types. That is bulk oil circuit breaker and low circuit breaker. And the oil less circuit breaker have four types. One is air brake circuit breaker, another is air blast circuit breaker, and SF6 circuit breaker, and last one is vacuum circuit breaker. That is VCB circuit breaker. So next we will detail discuss the classification, operation and uses of the circuit breaker. So have a look. Nowadays you can see that we are use AC circuit breaker in our power system because the AC power system has low losses in long transmission line. Due to AC power system in our generation has introduced so we need to know how to control various levels of voltage in our power system. So let's talk about in AC system for AC breaker. There are two types of AC circuit breaker. One is low voltage circuit breaker, another is high voltage circuit breaker. The low voltage circuit breaker whose value lies between 1000 volt. It's called low voltage circuit breaker. And the high voltage above 1000 volt is known as the high voltage circuit breaker. Nowadays, we don't transmit DC power in long transmission line because we cannot step up or step down in the system voltage to transmit long distances. Some rare cases we are use in DC circuit breaker. DC current that is DC is the one directional or unidirectional flow of electric charge. Their magnitude is all time constant. So, show the simple things that the DC circuit breaker is only useful for DC power system, not AC power system. Nowadays, we transmit DC power in long transmission line. So, where we discuss the AC circuit breaker. So let's start. If we see our industries, there are various type of circuit breaker in our application. So here we can distribute six type of circuit breaker. First of all, bulk oil circuit breaker. It is above or equal 400 kV voltage rating. And its quenching medium is transformer oil. Second is minimum oil circuit breaker. Its voltage reliable 110 to 220 kV. Its are quenching medium also transformer oil. Third is air blast circuit breaker. Its voltage level also 110 kV to 400 kV and air is the arc quenching medium. Fourth is vacuum circuit breaker that is VCB is the short form and the voltage rating for VCB is 100 kV to 33 kV. The arc quenching medium we use in VCB that is vacuum. Fifth is SF6 circuit breaker. Its voltage reading we use 33 kV to 400 kV or above. 
and the arc quenching medium we use SF6 gases and the sixth is MCCB, MCCB, RCCB, ELCB all those MCB now all those trigger we use voltage reading starting from 10 ampere to 1000 ampere and different type of mechanism different type of conductor we use to operation those circuit breaker so let's detail discuss those circuit breaker so here we start bulk oil circuit breaker the bulk oil circuit breaker is used to arc the quenching media and it's also for insulating media in between arc parts of the circuit breaker and current carrying conductor the same transformer insulating oil is used in bulk oil circuit breaker it is used for above or equal 400 kV voltage level working of bulk oil circuit breaker during the normal operation the conduct of the circuit breaker is closed and carry the current when the fault occur in this system the conduct of the breaker is moving apart and the arc is start between the conduct here you can see the conductor the bushing the dielectric oil that is transformer oil the moving conduct the fixed conduct and the conservator tank when the fault is occur that is the conduct of the breaker are moving apart the arc is stuck between the conduct that is upper portion fixed contact and lower portion moving contact and this cases the oil is an use for arc quenching medium in this breaker so we are use the transformer oil in this circuit breaker the medium oil circuit breaker is quite similar to the bulk oil circuit breaker in this type of circuit breaker the minimum oil is used an arc quenching medium and it's mounted an a porcelain insulator to insulate it from the earth it used for voltage level 110 kV to 220 kV here you can see the outer portion and the inner portion of the medium oil circuit breaker this is quite similar to the bulk oil circuit breaker but there are uses for some low voltage transmission line after discussion medium oil circuit breaker here we discuss air blast circuit breaker in our distribution system the air blast circuit breaker use compressed air or gas as the air interactive medium or air quenching medium in the air blast circuit breaker the compressed air is stored in the tank and released through a nozzle to produce high velocity jet this is used to extinguish the arc and the air blast circuit breaker used for indoor service in the medium high voltage field and the medium reporting capacity the types of air blast circuit breaker mainly there are three types of air blast circuit breaker one is axial type another is cross type and third is radial type the axial type in which the flow of air blast is directed along the arc path and the cross blast type in which the flow of air blast is perpendicular with respect to the arc and the radial blast type in which the air blast is directed radially and the red dot all those things we can see the arc quenching medium is the directional of moving contact to fixed contact in your interview your interviewer may ask you why the air is used for arc quenching instead of other gases like nitrogen carbon dioxide or hydrogen the answer is that the nitrogen gas has almost similar the circuit breaking properties as air so we don't use the nitrogen in air blast circuit breaker and the carbon dioxide gas tends to freeze hence we don't use hydrogen gas is best cooling properties and it's most suitable gas for circuit breaking operation that is arc quenching but due to its very high cost we don't prefer hydrogen gas after discussing air blast circuit breaker now we talk about 
वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर दैट इज वी सी द वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर आर पॉइंटिंग टेक प्लेस इन वैक्यूम मीडियम इन साइड द वी सी बी यू कैन सी द वैक्यूम इंटरप्टर दिस लाइक ए स्विच हुई यूज फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल कॉन्टैक्ट इन अ वैक्यूम If a cross section of a typical vacuum interrupter, we can see the upper portion is fixed end and the lower portion is the movable end. You can see the all name in this vacuum circuit breaker. So, this is me. Let's talk about SF6 circuit breaker. This is a circuit breaker where sulfur hexafluoride gas or SF6 gas is used. as the arc quenching medium known as sf6 circuit breaker we use sf6 circuit breaker in this medium because it has the excellent insulating properties and it has high electronegativity the sf6 gas the sf6 we use because due to high electronegativity it has high affinity for absorbing free electron to form a negative ions After discussion SF6 circuit breaker, now we come up MCB. All you are know that MCB stand for miniature circuit breaker. It automatically switch off electrical circuit during any abnormal condition in the electrical network, such as overload or may short circuit condition. It is used for lower rating, that is 10 to 100 ampere. now mccb it is quite similar like mcb the mccb stands for module case circuit breaker it can be used for higher current rating like 100 to 1000 ampere the wide current rating and the breaking capacity of the mcb find their uses in industrial application MCCB can be used for protection of capacitor bank generator protection and main electric feeder in distribution system after discussion MCCB now we talk about ELCB this is most sensitive circuit breaker in our system the ELCB stand for arc breaker circuit breaker is safety device used in electrical insulation with high arc impedance to prevent shock so you can see that it is mainly used to prevent injury to human or animals due to the electric shock so if you like this video if you enjoy this video then like and subscribe to get more videos like that thank you very much and all the very best